Not too many people in the history of bodybuilding can say that they have a victory over Arnold Schwarzenegger and even fewer gentlemen, actually only one person in history can say that he defeated Arnold Schwarzenegger on the Olympia stage and that is of course Sergio Oliva in 1969 and Arnold got his victory back in 1970 of course but here is the irritating part I guess in my opinion 1971 Sergio was disqualified for a ridiculous reason for a reason that Arnold would have been guilty himself for, for competing for NABA. But either way, Sergio was there, he had his tights, he was all oiled up in 71, but they didn't judge him. Foolishness, foolishness. So there is a debate there, who would have won between these two in 1971. In 72, if you were not familiar with the video presentation that I did, I firmly believe, so they actually let Sergio compete in 72 against Arnold, and it is my firm belief that Sergio was the better man going by pictures and people's, you know, testimonials from the 1972. So, you know, it's very debatable that Arnold got that many victories over Sergio Oliva. So after that, Sergio Oliva left. He left the IFBB. And of course, 73, Arnold reigned supreme. So if, if, the, if you take the 1972 Sergio Oliva which I believe was better than Arnold in 72, would that version also have defeated Arnold in 1973? And this is actually a fan request from you guys. Fan voted, actually, for your You Pick 2 2 Tuesday video. So I did my best to set this one up. And just warning you now, we don't have all of the shots. But I, I used a couple of fillers for Arnold, for other, other poses. A couple from 71, actually. We do, in fact, have the front double bicep pose. Tilted, a little bit the angle is off for Arnold, so right out of the shoot, a little bit hard to judge. Now there is this one, and the angle is straight. It's not. He is tilted, thusly, is Arnold, but he used to do that to, you know, make his physique more favorable, and it does work. It makes his waistline a lot smaller in comparison with the lats, but it also makes him unsymmetrical. And Sergio Oliva, he is, you talk about Phil Heath being gifted. This guy is gifted. My word, it is gifted. Now, I've seen a lot of the 72, things of that nature, close-up shots of the, both under the same lighting. And Arnold, he might have been better as far as separation in the quads and the, you know, the shape of the biceps. But Sergio was unbelievable. I don't know if he was in the condition of Arnold, though. And in, I have to say, in 73, Arnold's condition was much better than it was in 72. And like I said, these guys both did, in fact, stand on the stage in 71. So right there is a comparison in 71. But there's only one pose. There's only one pose, the front double bicep pose. And here is the same pose. Better pitchers, clearer shots. Who do you guys think was better in 1973? Or 71, uh, rather, in 71? Because I think, in all honesty, Sergio was pretty much the same in 71 and 72, which was outstanding. And Arnold's 71 version here, very reminiscent of 73. So this is basically the comparison you guys wanted to see. Arnold, structurally speaking, he does not have those gifts. That small waistline, maybe bigger quads also for Sergio. That's a debate. That's a debate. Arnold's quads, pretty pretty decent, I have to say. 71 and 73. 72, they were down a little bit. I don't know, man. I like Arnold aesthetically. I, I like his peaks. I like the cuts in his quads. But it is absolutely up to a debate. So... Go, go to the next shot. I mean, you could spend all day on these two dudes. The angle's going to be a lot different for this one. And of course, this is a 71 for Arnold, which I said was a lot like 73. A lot of cuts in those quads. Sergio, of course, he, he's going to have bigger legs and a smaller waistline. Arnold battling them, though. I wager to say uh, Sergio probably would get the front lat, though, just due to that small waistline. Now, the side chest, on the other hand, in my opinion, there can be no debate. 
although I could see how some Sergio diehards would really like the display of the arm and the far pack. That's what he did. That's what he did. But in my opinion, Arnold hits this shot. This is what a side chest should look like. He hits this to a T. To a T. So a close one, guys, but I don't know. I think this side chest gets a maybe an edge, a little edge, going into the back shots. Now, who had the better back? Right out of the shoot, I can see Sergio Oliva. The quads, how they bust out from behind, that's unbelievable. Huge big arms, but Arnold's arms, they look better to me. They're in proportion, they're... They just seem to look more aesthetically pleasing with the back itself. Now, whose back is better? Sergio's lats are lower. You can see that for sure. He's got a bigger back. He's got a bigger back. Arnold's back in 73 was peeled. It was ripped. Ripped to shreds, man, soon. <sighs> there is this one of Sergio, which doesn't count. He was going up to hit a... Boom! You see that? What do they call that? A victory shot? Wow, from behind. He generally did hit this one for his rear double bye. Wow, wow. This is this is up in the air, guys. And this one here, I've done this uh, rear lat spread comparison probably a few times. And it's the same old story. There's only one rear lat of Arnold from 71. And there's really only one good rear lat spread from Sergio. And this is like from the 80s, I think. This is from early 80s. And Sergio's back is better. Look at the the outer lats. So it's going to be of some debate, guys and gals. Who's going to win this one? Because Arnold has no picture of his rear lat. His rear double was competitive for sure. Condition-wise, separation-wise against Sergio. Man, oh man. And uh, the, the most muscular, I guess, is the last say on this. And vexingly... Another one that could go either way. Arnold's legs look a little bit more slight. Slight of hand. He looks a little bit more slender altogether when you pan back. But Sergio is so gosh darn thick, even in the calves. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. But Arnold, you look close, he has some more cuts. He's got bigger pecs too. And if you do not like them, this one, if... And, oh, I, I like this too, guys. Arnold, Arnold has then this one. You see that? When I do that line, that's the exact pose that Arnold was doing. It was on the pumping iron or raw iron, the making of pumping iron. Stay tuned. It was on the DVD. Stay tuned for raw iron. Of course I stay, to, stay tuned for it. A Mark's Max muscle. 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 I watched it five times with some tequila. But anyway, anyway... Arnold has then this one, and in my estimation, he does look better in the most muscular. Sergio's most muscular takes criticism, takes heat. He holds his hands in front of him. I think that's why. So, at the end of the day, guys and gals, this is a close one. I think it would have to do with the pose down, which is why they did. I think they invented the pose down for these two guys. In, uh, I believe it was 70, 1970, when Arnold first won. So it was very close then, too. So Sergio may very well have defeated the Austrian Oak in 70 for his fourth title. And in 71, I mean, if he was still the champion, he was just as good as you could see from that one pitcher. So he would have won his fifth title in 71. 72, in my opinion, he defeated Arnold again. Would have won his sixth title. Would he have defeated him in 73? I think that is where Arnold would have won his first title. And I know that sounds strange to you guys, but keep in mind, there was a lot of fishy business going on. And if you talk to most anybody, they will say there was some politics, some some backdoor shenanigans with Joe Weider, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was his champion. If, if you know what I'm sure, some saying. Anyway, don't want to ruffle any feathers, but I'm sure if you do some digging, you can uh, find out that I'm not just bashing Arnold. I am actually praising Sergio Oliva for being one of the great ones, but in 73, to date, I think that was Arnold's best, and he got a little bit better in 74 again. So I think with those extra cuts 
little bit of added size and the improvement on the back as well, I think that he would have finally defeated Sergio Oliva. But anyway, anyway, that's that's just me. Sergio, hey, he deserves to be called a six-time Mr. Olympia. Hit thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it, whether you agree or disagree. This is not meant to upset anybody. It's, de it's uh, bodybuilding. It's debatable by its very nature. All right, guys, that's it for now. Have a great one.